Hey guys, welcome back to Robin Anderson from Robin's Taste. It was a very long time ago, and I'm dead tired, but I'm here, and I will make this new video for you guys. So, what kind of movies have you seen now, when it's been Halloween? Well, I've seen a couple of nice stuff. First, I borrowed this pretty cool, awesome horror movie series known as Phantasm. The first movie is definitely the most interesting one. There are a couple of characters who by accident run over this mysterious man known as the Tall Man, figure out a lot of weird stuff, like you use these silver balls as weapons that's drilling into your brains, and uh, he's a pretty macabre, disgusting man who keep on repeating the same word, BOY, all the time, which is actually very, very creepy. Tall Man, overall, is a very underrated villain, and I love one of the main characters, Reggie. He's a funny, out-of-the-line character who definitely won't fit into a situation, but he never gets over the top and he never gets over the line. He always has the same cool attitude and that's why we love him. I think the first movie is just amazing and I think it's a solid, good horror film and very interesting indeed. The sequel wasn't real bad, but it actually not the same kind of style. The actor who plays Mike has a new actor and it just doesn't fit. It feels so weird that all of a sudden they take a new actor and the original actor appears in the third and fourth movie. So I just don't think it's mixing together very well. And uh, it's a solid film still, not the worst, but it's going downhill. The third movie is according to me just it won't fit, okay? We have Reggie as a main character this time, and he's amazing as a side character. I love him as a side character, but if you take him as a main character, it doesn't get as serious anymore. It just becomes a funny comedy with some few horror moments and some slapstick moments and fantasy. And bake them into one and the same thing, and it becomes a lump. And you don't feel the same thing that the first movie had. They tried to rebuild him for a film, but that didn't work out. So the fourth film tries to be more like the first movie, tries to be more serious and have the fantasy elements. But unfortunately, I think the fourth film is the worst one. It happens nothing. It hasn't got the feeling that this is the end. There's no conclusion to who Tallman actually is. They give you a few leads, but you don't really get it together. And it's just... complex. Uh, I think the final scene was pretty cute and all, but uh, it, they still don't conclude who the fuck Tallman is, or who the fuck did kill the guy. They don't conclude anything, and it just becomes strange, to be honest. I don't think it was very much entertaining to watch, and it was the worst one in the series. We've been waiting for such a long time to see the end of Phantasm, and that was the ending. That was just bad. But I like the director of this movie, and has a new movie coming out. Uh, Jean dies at the end, and I think the trailer looks pretty similar to Phantasm, so I look forward to checking that one out. We get dreams, uh, fantasy, and a lot of weird stuff going on. And uh, I think Angus Grimm, who plays Tallman, has a role in the movie too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I saw another movie uh, during Halloween as well. The Ninth Gate. And this was actually a very nice film. I liked it. It's um, Johnny Depp as his best. We have this book that is mainly a Bible for the devil or something like that, and it's free copies worldwide, but one man believes that the free copies are fake, and it's only one of them that is the real one. Mysterious things is going on, not supernatural, but it could be on the edge to supernatural, and I think it builds up very well. Okay, I'm done here. Take care, guys. Bye.